Hi guys and welcome along to my YouTube video. In this video today I'm going to show you how to route the Galaxy S3. If you've done the S1 and the S2 you'll know how easy the process is. The S3 is exactly the same. First of all what you want to do is go to XDA Developers um, and navigate to the Galaxy S3 part of the forum. Once in there, if you go to development and go to the topic called CF root 6.2 super user and clockwork manager. Okay, so if you click on that, um, Chainfire gives you a full description on how to do it. It's very easy, simple. In here as well, you'll find the download links for the tools that you're going to require. So first of all, what you want to do is download Triangle Away. You can purchase this from the market. Chainfire's giving it away free in the forum. Um, so if you download it from the forum, it's always nice to give them a donation. Next up, you want to download Odin version 1.85. So download that. And finally, download CF root. Once you've downloaded all them, you'll need to unzip them with either WinRAR or 7-zip. I've popped them all in one folder here and I've extracted the files that I require. So once you've downloaded them and unpacked them, what you want to do is start up Odin. In the PDA field, you want to put CF root. Let's take a tick out of there. Once you've done all that, next step is to put your phone into recovery, uh, into download mode. Sorry. First of all, you need to power it off. Once it powers off, you can then put it into the download mode, and it's the same as before. Volume down, home, power. Once you get to this screen here, you can either press volume up to continue or volume down to cancel it and restart the phone. So we'll press volume up. It'll bring you to this screen. Once you're in that screen there, you're ready to go. So if you plug your USB lead into the phone, your computer will load up the drivers if it's not already loaded up. Once you know the drivers are all, all there and working, your COM port will turn yellow. Once it turns yellow, it's just a matter of pressing start. This flash literally takes seconds again, just like every other flash that you do when you root it. Your phone will now start to reboot and it will scroll up some messages on the screen there just to say that it's um, been rooted and unpacking the, the files. Once it's done this, it will just restart as normal. So we'll just give that a second or two. Right, the final thing that you'll need to put into it is um, triangle away and that you can just open up your um, notification bar and use your device um, to transfer the files. It should open up your computer, if not, there it's up. You just open it up. Then you want to grab your triangle away, copy that file and pop that on your SD card. You can either put it on your external card or your internal one. So if I pop that in the card there, I 
can play, I can install it from there. What that triangle array does is it resets your flash counter. Just to make sure that your phone is actually rooted. If you go into your app drawer, you'll see the super user icon which is just there. That's it there. Okay. So once you've done that, you don't get clockwork recovery with this. So it's just a matter of going into Google Play and search for clockwork recovery mod and download that, install it and you're good to go. Now that's has got clockwork recovery in the phone so once it's in just remember to flash it as a Samsung Galaxy S3. That way you know that it'll work and just grant it super user permission. And that's you, it's, it's done. Nice and easy and simple. Now if you go on to flash um, other ROMs, that's when you'll need your triangle away. So if you grab your triangle away, I've popped it in here. But if you grab it anyway, wherever you've put it in the phone, and just install that APK, um, you'll be good to go. And basically what that does is it just resets your flash counter. I hope this video has been of some use to you. And um, once again, thanks for watching. Cheerio.